Good morning, my friends. It's December 6, 2024, and this is the Daily Brief. So 1,280 Russians are off the battlefield, including 40 artillery pieces, 69 vehicles, and fuel tanks, so it's still hot. When you look at Andrew Perpetua's map, his, not map, his uh, spreadsheet where he charts out how many Russian and, and Ukrainian losses, you see it's about two and a half to one Russian to Ukrainian. So not great, but not bad. Um, really, I'm comfortable when it's over three to one because of attritional warfare. Uh, the British Intel, um, their daily update talks about how Avdivka is a sector that's the hottest or that's the focus of uh, the Russians' main effort. Okay, switching uh, into p political kind of news, Lavrov is talking about how the French, the French are sending trainers to Ukraine. The French are legitimate targets. He's not wrong. The French are legitimate targets. But is that really what you want to do if you're Russia? You want to inflame that, hit the French, and then cause the French population to become even more aggressive? Because they're not going to uh, you know, just roll over because some of their trainers were hit. Katarov's nephew, in other news, uh, Katarov in Chechnya, he made his oldest son the sports minister and his 16-year-old son the superintendent of the special forces uh, training school in Chechnya, and he just made his nephew the minister of transport. But of course, that's okay. That's not real nepotism because his father held that role before that, so I guess it's okay. President Biden uh, just said that peace... Um, means that Russia never, this is a quote, never occupies Ukraine, and it doesn't mean that they are part of NATO. I don't know what Biden, why Biden continues to slow walk, and this is not a political position, I just don't get it, of why he just is so reluctant to move that direction. Do you not do you want the possibility of this happening again? Or do you want Ukraine not to bring the value that it's just created over the last two years in extreme painful ways? Do you not want that to become part of NATO? I, I just don't get it. Okay, last thing. It's the one-year anniversary of the Nova Kova Dam. This is the last of three of the, you know, year... Uh, year in review, when, what happened one year ago. Tell me what you think about that after you watch it. And I, if you like them, I'll do them on special occasions only moving forward. Okay, that's all the news that I have. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Thank you to my patrons and members. And thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.